sorry about that. This is uh, <laughs> uh, so. So there are two things about corruption uh, that I, I, well, a couple, uh, some few things, not two things, but l let me go uh, straight to them. I think that the 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 corruption fight has been either politicized or personalized. That helps no one. That helps no one at all. Uh, if you politicize it, then it's you have the uh, the practice of equalization going. On. You stole, I stole, etc., and things like that. So let's take it out of the political uh, space. So that's that's the first thing. Then uh, we should understand that our discourse and our narratives on, on corruption affect how people think about us uh, outside, and therefore whether they they come to do business with us or not. So we, we, we ought to be careful in that. Now there are two things to corruption. There's a perception of corruption, and there's there's a practice of corruption. Whether the perception of corruption does not match with the practice of corruption, that means that somebody is being accused of being corrupt when the person is not being corrupt. We've got to be careful about that because people's reputation and integrity are at stake. Don't accuse somebody of corruption if you do not have enough grounds, not necessarily enough facts, but enough grounds to make the allegation. Because then when other people who are actually corrupt are accused, you will not be believed. So that is key. And I think that is where the politicization and other things come <coughs> in there. You know, and when you talk about politicians now, you, you, they're they are associated with corruption, unfortunately. I mean, mm -hmm. and I don't know whether that's true or not. So, so, so that's, that, that's an essential thing. But let's come to the practice of corruption. That is one of the most vile things that can happen to a country. You see, once you steal money, we're talking about hospitals being built. Yeah. You steal the money. No hospital is going to build. Or you've taken the money that would have a hospital built. When I, I mean, one of the things I learned from uh, my hospitalization, I mean, I was in two hospitals, in three surgeries, uh, two surgeries before uh, I, I got uh, to UDMC. All my health, my bills were about 10,000 US dollars. And I was quite fortunate that I had friends who could hold it for me before I was there. I mean, I was quite, it was quite clear that I would have died if nobody could have held on for me. Mm -hmm. Now, think about that, that if you do not po possibly have 10,000 US dollars to access healthcare, then somebody would die. <laughs> now, think about how many Ghanaians are dying because somebody takes $5 million kickback. That should have come to the exchequer, goes into a private pocket. That is the extent of wickedness that there is. Think about the number of kids who are not being schooled properly. Think about the number of people who are not being employed in, in that. It is not a good thing. And we should depoliticize it and deal with everybody who is corrupt in terms of that. And it doesn't matter whether you're NPP or NDC. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, if, if NPP is in power and an NPP person is corrupt, in fact, that is where they have to go for the person because the person can't talk about political persecution. In terms of your own person is uh, kicking you on the... It's, it's that. But it has to be evidence-based. And therefore, uh, the investigative skills of uh, uh, anti-corruption people is, is key. And I think that is where we fall a lot. I mean, the Office of Special Prosecutor, insofar as I knew... They didn't have a lot of investigative skills. They had the power. Mm. You know, in Ghana, we give the power without the skills that match up to it. I mean, I'll give you an example. I mean, when Bank of Ghana said that uh, boards should have certain, should perform certain functions, etc., uh, the Ghana Banking College uh, organized courses to make them aware that these are uh, the kind of governance rules you have to follow. Then I asked them, okay, so you told me I need to know something about audit. Have you taught me what I have to know about audit? Mm -hmm. You know. So you, you, you give them what to do without how to do that. And I think where we should be able to do something is in that space. Some of those skills reside in Ioko and Shraj and others. So there has to be also the coordination uh, in terms of that. Uh, you know, and then, but the investigative capability is where I think uh, the, 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 the issue is at. But there should be zero, absolutely zero tolerance for that. And we should not hail people uh, who are corrupt and that we know are corrupt 
as as uh, people of worth. I mean, that is not that is not a good thing.